sour cream and its many uses. First we're going to start with a simple salad dressing. You're just going to get half a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and then you're going to mix it and incorporate it into it. It will thin it out. The consistency right here is not what I would like, so I added a little more vinegar just to thin it out so it coats the lettuce better. I add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard to add color and a little bit of flavor. And that's a simple salad dressing done. Just apple cider vinegar, Dijon mustard, mix it in with your mixed greens, and there you go. And don't forget a little salt and pepper. Sour cream is very versatile. Right now we're gonna make a Parmesan cheese sour cream dip. First you're gonna start with your sour cream. I just use about two heaping spoons. I got half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of Dijon mustard for color, and salt and pepper for flavor. This dip is thick, so you could thin it out with some heavy cream. Mix it all together. This dip can be used for many things. Baked potato, fried potato, boiled potato. We use it for a poutine of ours. This is a simple sour cream dip. We're just adding taco spice, a little salt and pepper to sour cream. You can use it as a topping for your tacos. You can use it for the topping of potatoes. On pasta, cook stew. This is similar to the dip that we made just before this. Unfortunately, I read the directions wrong and assumed the taco slice could be used the same, but this one actually has the recipe on the side. So I decided to make it. It's pretty flavorful, same idea. You can use it on top of anything like tacos, dip for chips, and on top of potatoes and your pasta. This is one of my favorite ways to make a dressing. We got a spice figged maple pear balsamic vinegar that we just mix in with the sour cream and it becomes velvety smooth like a creamy balsamic vinaigrette without oil. The vinaigrette is pretty expensive so I am using it sparingly and carefully mixing it into the sour cream. Once I've hit my desired flavor then I stop and I put a little bit of cream in it just to thin it out so that it coats better over the lettuce. It's really about just incorporating the flavors and the consistency of the salad dressing that will stick to the leaves when you actually mix it in. This is about the consistency you'd find inside like a craft bag of salad dressing. So I mix it in my salad dressing. I always kind of do it like, like Caesar salad. A nice coated salad is what I do enjoy. And we're making a fresh garlic cream sauce, which is actually pretty simple. It's just adding fresh garlic to some sour cream and a little bit of salt and pepper. Now the garlic spread can be used as many things. First, you can use it as just a topping to your potatoes, taco, whatever main course meat you want to put it on. Second, you can actually use it as a sauce or a spread for sandwiches or shawarmas. And lastly, you can use it as a marinade by throwing a little bit of your favorite herb in there, like dill or thyme. And for the marinade, now you'll just mix it up, get a Ziploc bag, and then put your meat into it. Chicken breast, chicken legs, pork, or beef. And what I decided to do with this sauce was to actually just turn it into a vinaigrette for a salad dressing. So I just added vinegar and a little bit of Dijon mustard. Just trying to thin it out and make it the right consistency. This dressing actually is pretty spicy because garlic is a little bit of spice here. The only thing I want to add is I probably added a little bit more than a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, but I do enjoy the flavor it brings. Just going to mix the dressing up now, check for consistency as I added a little more vinaigrette just to, to get the right consistency. I'm showing you here two different styles that I would do it. I would regularly put this on a plate and then spread a little bit of the salad dressing on top with a little mixed greens, maybe some red onion, cucumber, and then serve it to the customer or the guest. But as I already told you, I enjoy a Caesar salad and I love it just dripping with dressing that's not made with oil and that I can enjoy. It's also gluten free. And here's just a few ideas to do with sour cream. There's endless possibilities, your favorite, anything added to it. Have fun with it and enjoy.